With companies uniting to solve the climate crisis, we now look to industry and manufacturing to decarbonize. 40% of all the emissions today are mainly produced by the industry and specifically by the heavy industry. Outdated technology, wasteful processes, and expensive operations. It is our responsibility of the generation today to fix those problems. Now more than ever, industry must adopt new solutions to tackle the climate challenge. How companies leverage the best available technology to deliver productivity and sustainability impact in parallel. Everything from profitability to the needs of the planet hang in the balance. But through crisis comes innovation, and now industries have more opportunity than ever to embrace a digital-first approach. To reach the sustainability goals overall globally, we need the industry to follow because 40% of the emissions worldwide are made by the industry. If you look at the industrial sector, then you have the hard to abate sectors, right? Steel, cement that are highly polluting because of the way in which you know, production processes work. I think there's a different way to look at that, which is uh, the greatest opportunity sector. Those are the sectors where the opportunities for real impact, not just commitments, but action that comes behind it, that's where we can see the greatest uh, potential. And let's just take orders of industries that are worst and look at how we can reduce them while at the same time increase uh, efficiency. Uh, both of those um, work in the same direction. You can increase efficiency, that means you're decreasing your carbon emissions. And that's a win-win really for, um, for the end user and the planet. The key to unlocking a net zero future in industry combines automation, software and energy. Together, they form Schneider Electric's strategy for more resilient, agile, and eco-efficient operations. The Industrial Sustainability Triad is the interplay between automation, energy, and software. So automation and energy can be optimized through real-time data from a software, which is ultimately leading to higher efficiency and, of course, sustainability. One part of the triad is software which is enabling complex data gathering tasks to be automated, giving greater insight on operations. What um, some of the data analysts at companies do is they're trying to gather data many times manual. It uh, sounds ancient. You want to automate these things from your operational data, your engineering data, simulation data, third party data, creates really the platform that allows you uh, to make smart decisions on that if you can rely on it. Software is available to do that in the most sophisticated way. Better quality data allows companies to introduce next generation automation, optimizing their operations. Data analytics can really help you to optimize something. So you have a big pool of data where you can make and run an analysis. And then by applying machine learning or artificial intelligence, you might be able, again, to change what you have been doing or make recommendations. And that's why applying digitalization and automation in a company will ultimately lead to the point that you have less resources that you need in a certain process, so you can free up those resources for other things. And on the other side, you might increase quality and reduce waste. Automation uh, can take the waste out of the system, and that's going to be one of the easiest and most economically advantageous ways uh, to fight climate and natural resource use and waste uh, that we should not have in our economic systems. With software and automation dramatically optimizing processes, the last piece of the puzzle is energy. To reach sustainability in industry, you have the possibility to use less energy, which is the eco-efficiency, and on the other side, to use clean energy, which is mainly renewables. So on one hand, you can decarbonize a process by electrifying, and then you can optimize the use of this electricity by adopting through automation the process itself. So it's really this interplay of energy and automation, which gives a powerful leverage on reducing emissions and becoming more sustainable. Reducing waste also reduces environmental impact. Circularity is an innovative way of doing business that can improve both sustainability and profitability. 
there are two ways in which we can achieve circularity. One is by closing the loop for existing products. You know, if we can trace and track where they stand, how they are used, and how we can bring them back to the sources so that they can be refurbished, reused, remanufactured, recycled. In some sectors, there's another avenue, which is to really start rethinking from scratch how we design those products for longer term use. We at Schneider Electric are proud uh, of creating or having created a zero waste to landfill program where we are giving a second life to every component, every material that we are consuming inside our manufacturing. Second thing is also uh, providing the ability to recover our own products and give to them, you know, a, a retrofit capability, refurbish them and give them a second life. Only those companies will be able to create a digital thread across their value chains and ensure end-to-end -end visibility are the ones who are going to be able to deal with scope one, scope two and three emissions. One example of industrial operations adopting new technology to automate and deliver efficiency is Aquapolo, a pioneering enterprise in South America dedicated to producing recycled water for industrial use. By recycling sewage, they offer a sustainable solution that meets the needs of growing industrial demand while conserving the scarce water resources of Sao Paulo's metropolitan region. All stages of the process are controlled, monitored, and managed in real time through Schneider Electric's EcoStructure solution, which has delivered an increase of around 15% in the plant's total operational efficiency. This is possible because EcoStructure is an open platform and delivers connectivity, automation, visualization, and process management in real time. The data gathered by EcoStructure can also enable digital twin technology, which can provide companies with increased visibility of their operations, allowing them to make informed decisions for sustainable change. The digital twin is in principle a picture of real-time data that you gather from the process. And by monitoring this digital twin and seeing how it will evolve over the time, allows you to make better use of your resources or better use of the energy you use in this process. While operations continue to produce, we can look at how the factory would behave in this digital world uh, if we were to make certain decisions in a different way and then have the software simulate it. And then you can say, okay, if I choose this path, it means this carbon output, it means this profitability, and it's gonna mean that I can run my operation for a couple more weeks without any failure and so forth. So you start going into scenarios all in the digital world before you say, this is ideal, and then you deploy it in the factory. That's the true advantage of a digital twin. Digital twin technology has been deployed to great success in Sanning Chemical, a large-scale chemical enterprise in the Hubei province. Their ambition is to run an environmentally friendly chemical plant and build an industry-leading smart factory. Aviva Asset Management Software offered universal access to real-time data generated during the production process, creating a digital twin used to optimize operations. These digital solutions have enabled energy consumption reduction of 5% across the entire site. Digital solutions, software, automation, and energy management can help unlock a lower carbon future for manufacturing and industry. But it's not just these sectors where transformation is required. We also need to turn our attention to the built environment. Exponential population increase and urbanization are profoundly impacting environmental stability. However, solutions driven by digitalization are allowing us to rethink how we design new buildings and rework existing ones to enable humanity's sustainable growth.